Okay, so this is an interesting one because I, I'm not 100% sure how it'll fit in with my proposed army yet. Uh, but I'm scrolling through Games Workshop's, you know, page to get inspiration for what figures should I focus on next? What figures should I focus on next? What units? What, you know, stuff I could kit bash using some Station Forges stuff? Looking at some other miniatures on my mini factory and I'm realizing Station Forge released the knight set. The, some of those knights look like the Blade Guard veterans from uh, Warhammer 40k uh, from the Space Marines. So I'm like, why don't I just build some Blade Guard veterans? And I'm looking at the rules from uh, uh, One Page Rules Grim Dark Future, and there's some Prime Guards. I believe that's what they're called. Yeah, some uh, some Guard Squad units, which are basically the Blade Guard veterans. In today's video, we're going to be assembling those. As we can see right here on my desk, I have three little baggies. I decided to separate them up since each of them have their own little kit. One of them's holding a sword with, you know, his head and everything. The other one has uh, a sword and a shield. And the third one has uh, a little pistol and a shield out. There was one problem with printing these and... This goes to show orientation on your print bed is important. It's, in, it's incredibly important, especially with figures with points. So if we look at the first figure that I'm planning to build today, we have this sword. This sword is cool looking. It's got this little point right here, but I, I had to reprint this about three times because I kept on running into an issue where the point got snapped off, and that's because I was printing it with the point towards the print bed. So as I was printing it, the first couple of layers, the tip of the blade wasn't getting enough time to cure, wasn't getting enough time to get printed. And then we finally printed it where it's the arms facing down, the blade pointing up, which allowed the blade to actually form, because there's not a lot of mass at the tip of the blade, so it needs more time. So. Let's get to assembly. And there we go, we have a squad of uh, guardsmen, a squad of blade guard veterans, whichever game system we're playing. Uh, I really like some of these poses where they're just holding a sword and just posing it, you know, gallantly like that. Shield at his side, pistol at the ready, heavy pistol. Or just this guy just ready to charge into the action. This looks cool and I really like that. Uh, there's some ideas I would like to play with with these where I, I want to see what it would look like if they've got a shield on their back, sword strapped to the side, you know, holding a, like a heavy blaster, like the, the, the bolters that the Space Marines use, or if I could use the Blade Guard's body and hit bash it so I can be like, hey, <laughs> knight body, regular weaponry, it's a captain. So that, that's a future idea. So these came in the Socrates uh, Knights Kit, which is about $15 on Station Forge's page. Uh, this is a really nice set. Uh, there's other figures in the set that have some of the more heavier units at the time of this posting. So yeah, this was a really nice set, an interesting set to build, because I personally didn't think it was uh, something I would want to build or have in my army. But just to see them on the desk, I kind of want to print one of these in 75mm scale. Probably this guy with the sword just sat posing there. I think this would look cool as a little statuette. Let me give you a 
little peek into a future video then. Right here on my desk, first time I've printed this and I'm looking at the parts right now, I got all cleaned up, sanded off some of the edges so I can easily glue it. Right here on my desk is a 75mm Prime Master Archivist, or basically the librarian that I did in a previous video. And I am going to do a full video where we look at the detailing on this, look at the details that were missed in the regular 28mm figure versus 75mm. And yeah, that's going to be a fun video. So thank you all for watching. If you have any units you want me to, want to see me build in the future, suggest them down below. Uh, after this, we're probably going to be jumping into uh, the Astro Militarum, the Earth Defense Force stand-in figures. Uh, also from Station Forge, really nice uh, Grim Guard figures. Uh, so see you all next time, man. Can't wait to uh, share more content with y'all.